Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Uh, where you left us off last, we basically did part two with the summer transfer window. Um, and basically, this is where we are at the moment. If I just quickly go through, we're looking to sell. Let's go through players going out. Kelly Ruse is looking to go because we've probably got better goalkeepers now. Frank... Uh, Dabo hopefully is going. He keeps rejecting other offers. I'm hoping he'll leave. Dominic Ball's going out on loan. Um, in fact, I don't think. Uh, let's have a look at this loan deal. Sorry, sidetracked as always. Uh, no, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to keep Dominic Ball here now. Anyway, right, and that's it really. Uh, we've got him coming in. But he's a performance analysis. I didn't read last time. Sorry. Uh, right. Uh, let's have a look at transfer history. So, yeah. So, we've already, I already went through all the transfers, actually, in the last episode. So, there's no need. Uh, I'm looking forward to this player here. I think he's going to be a really good left back for us. A definite improvement on Diarte. So, yeah. We've got two more friendlies left. Um, we've got this one coming up. And then one versus Leicester City. And then we've got the Premier Sports coming up. So at least at least we've got um, some proper football happening. Uh, I would love to bring him in. Uh, anyway. Um, Finley Curtis, let's have a look. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, hope you're all having a nice Saturday. Hope you're up to something exciting. Are you out tonight? If you are, let me know in the comment section. Not that most people watching this probably do have a social life, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm not having a dig, by the way, I'm the same. Um, yeah, here we go. Kelly Roos out the door. He will be sorely missed. Uh, club legend. Let's have a look, actually. Is he a club legend? He's definitely going to be favourite personnel, at least. I don't know, he's not favourite personnel. No, oh, he's not. I don't maybe he's not in either. Let's just quickly look at this. Oh, no, that's a shame. I thought he'd be up there. Uh, we'll just get all these friendlies done, and then hopefully, we can get what's going on here. Several players feel you should reassure you and Diego Castillo that he's not going to replace. I've already done that. So, yeah. Right. Oh, can we get beer of him? He'd be a good little signer. Even though we're, we're absolutely stacked in strikers, but I don't mind stockpiling on, on more strikers. Yeah, Hudding was, I thought, would be a good signing at the time. And then, in hindsight, no. Then again... You never know. If we can send him out alone, he might do well. He only he didn't cost us anything. We might get something for him. Not much, but it all helps. Every little helps. I went out last night with my girlfriend and we went to uh, this Indian restaurant and I had a Bakora burger and it was really, really nice. And I had some meaty masala fries. They were very, very, my mouth was, my mouth was boiling hot. I felt like a dragon by the end of the time, by the time I finished eating them. But they were very nice. I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to hot food. I can't have anything too hot and spicy, but... They were all right. Hugo Alba. Gone. I should have signed him, but then again, like I said, I'm, I'm absolutely stacked in strikers. Especially if I sign that one coming up. What's his name? Beery. <laughs> if I sign Beery, uh, 
I don't know who's going to be the main striker. Is it going to be Beerot? So let's have a look at my strikers. Oh, let's do this first. Oh, balls are pressed. Sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll go back to it in a sec. Oh, Ronaldo. Is he the Ronaldo? No. It's not even classic Ronaldo. Right, let's go back to this. Uh, right. Um, strikers. There we go. We'll just do that. Get rid of that. Oh my god. I have got a ridiculously big squad, I've just realised. I mean, granted, he's not really a striker. He can play there, though. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Rocky Balboa's out for a few months. Hold on. So let's look, look at definite people that can play up front that are mostly strikers. <coughs> Hoyland. Oberfarmy. Ross Stewart, probably him as well. Nesbitt, I'm going to have to get rid of Dale Taylor. I won't get much for him, but... We'll add a clause. Uh, obviously hooded as well. So we've got one, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We'll have six strikers if we sign Beer off. So we're going to have some unhappy players at the moment. Let's just do quick pick. Let's just see who, what the starting lineup would be. Yeah, so they play. They they still play Hoyland. The assistant manager would still pick Hoyland at the moment. All right, let's get this friendly out of the way. And then we can actually crack on with the season. Ooh. Toku. He better not be a striker. Uh, no, he's a winger. Uh, no. No. I only really like signing South American African players for some reason. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <clears throat> Matthew Cray. Actually, yeah. Oh, Bentelove. Amazing, he's only 31. I feel like he's been playing for bloody centuries. Can't look at where I've got the ways to bring him in. Who was this for? Taylor, yeah. Premier Sports is usually a good way to get the players' morale up because it's a bit of a... We always seem to do well in that. I mean, even in the first season I was here, I was unfairly led in thinking we were going to be amazing. We did really well in the... In our first season um, in the League Cup and then we did terrible in the league so it's a very it's a very unfair but it's a good morale booster it gets the players happy gets them settled ready for the season <clears throat> it's glorified it's a glorified friendly season base it's a glorified yeah glorified friendly competition How did we do against Leicester? Ah, we lost. As expected. Right, we've got our first, I say, proper game of the season coming up. Let's see how we get on. Ah. Good signing for Bordeaux, though. Bordeaux is definitely... Lemon Saint-Entienne is definitely a, uh, a save worth doing. 
because I think they're both still, I could be wrong, but I think they're both still in League 2. In the Ligue, Ligue 2, uh, the French second division. Um, two fallen giants in French football. Oh, he's gone to Peterborough United. Hopefully, he'll do well there and get a and get some money for him. Right, first game of the season coming up against Dun Martin. Hopefully, some of the new signings can settle in quickly. Oh, uh, right. Let's have a look at it. So we've got a new goalkeeper. Marin. So where is uh the still over we've got another goalkeeper. Dewhurst, why is Dewhurst not playing? Hmm, that's a weird one. Maybe he's not match fit. Uh we've got Suter making his debut, Longello making his debut, Al Al Dakil making his debut, Ross Stewart making his debut, and Oberfemi making his debut, so no space for Hoyland. Maybe the rest in a few. Oh, I forgot. Um, no, I didn't. It's all right. Ignore me. Oh, I did something wrong then, but I didn't. I've got a player called DD there. I hope it's not the uh, the original DD, the the famous Brazilian player. Good clearance by Suter. Go on, Aziz. Holds the play up, Rui. We're in a bit too fast there, I think. Uh, I think he. I think the. I think the assistant manager knows this is not a competition worth bothering about. So I think this is like a. This won't be the main team when we kick off the league season. I think. Go on, Delhi. Beautiful goal by Aziz. He's definitely fighting for a first team uh, first team place. One nil to us. Great, great interception there by Longello. Great vision by him to figure out what was going to happen there. Suta. Rui. Deli Ali. Go on, Deli. Deli Ali's up for it. Bowler. Beautiful pass. Ah, oh, what a goal. What a lovely little team goal that was. Oberfemi. Oh, no, it's offside. They don't do VAR in front in this competition. That's a shame. All right, can we get another goal before the second half finishes? Got the ball again. Dumbarton just seemed to be unstuck here they just can't seem to penetrate us bowler get in bowler by the way congratulations to Lelujo getting East 5 promoted to the Scottish Premiership I'm uh, interested to see how he gets on with them uh, yeah, so well done to him. Check him out if you haven't already. The most entertaining FM content creator as far as I as far as I'm um as far as no. In my opinion, sorry, the most entertaining FM content creator. It depends on what you like. Some would say Zealand's the most entertaining one, some would say Work the Space is the most entertaining one, but um uh, Dr. Benji um, when he's not in retirement, but yeah. Oh, what a ball! That was a beautiful ball. Yeah. Go on, over, over, Femi. I reckon he's going to be a good signing for us. We are stacked in strikers, by the way. Absolutely ridiculous options at the moment. Hoyland's going to be uh, worried for his first team place, I think. The good thing is, I think Ross Stewart can play on the one wing, and over, Femi can play on the other. So. And we got Bowler as well, who it was really good last season and started this game really well. Uh, hopefully, Constellation goal. 
Yeah, let me know who your favourite FM content creators are. Maybe I'm missing some. Clates is pretty good as well. Omega and Luke. There's, there's quite a few good ones. Uh, Tom FM. Uh, he's done really well for himself. Oh, I hope I'm not missing anybody. I, if I am, I apologise. I feel like I've mentioned all the all the the well known ones. Hood FM, I think, is another one who I've seen a few of his videos. So yeah, let me know. Like I said, let me know in the comments section if you've got any recommendations. I always uh I spend pretty much ninety percent of my viewing time now watching stuff on YouTube. I don't really watch the only normal TV I watch now is classic Emma Down and the soaps. I love me a bit of classic Emma Dow though. So it's the first thing I watch in the morning. It always set, it always sets me right for the day. It reminds me of the good old days as well. Before the world was on fire. Been watching uh, the UK version of Shameless from the beginning again. I forgot how funny it was, but also also very very dodgy. Um, but I think I already mentioned that in the previous episode, but yeah, very dodgy in the first season. But it's Channel 4 for you. They were always about pushing the envelope, which is good. Oh no, what have I done here? Why would it recommend him? That doesn't make no sense. Oh, Scott McTominay can make his debut. We'll play him up front. That'll be interesting. In fact, we'll swap him with Deli Alley. There you go. And then we'll take off Rue. We'll put Stephen Walsh there. We're lacking on the wings then, by the looks of it. Hopefully, the director of football can, will amend that before the see the prop before the transfer window closes. They usually are pretty good at figuring out what you need. That was a weird goal, but it was a goal nonetheless. Well done, Deli Ali. You know this competition is screwed if Deli Ali's standing out and looking good. Because near the end of last season, he was terrible. He just couldn't be bothered. Oh, good save by their goalkeeper. Come on, McTominay. Then again, I have just put Deli Alley up front, so maybe that's the reason why he scored. Go on, Deli, get another one. Ha! Ha! He scores when he wants. He scores when he wants. He's Deli Alley, and he scores when he wants. Oh, balls. I've just put a goalkeeper on. I don't know, Luja. Luja did that. Oh, I can't undo it. No, nothing I can do. I can't. I can't even put any more subs on either. Oh well, lucky we're winning seven one, isn't it? Yeah, I watched Leluzo yesterday. He put a goalkeeper on in defence. <laughs> Bloody Wally. Ah, uh, Beeros not coming. That's all right. I'm actually quite happy with that. Even though, even though Beeros is a good striker. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I'm all right with that. Like I said, we've got more than enough strikers. Got a big squad, actually, to be honest. I might I might need to... Let's have a look. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll do unavailable. We'll get rid of unavailable. Seventy-two people. That's not too bad, I suppose. There's probably I've I've had more than that before. I think. If you do that, seventy-two divided by three, it works out about less than twenty-five people in each squad. It's a, it's it's big it's a big squad though. Don't get me wrong. Uh, sorry, I'm just fixing the webcam. Sorry. Yeah, right. Let me just check. Yeah. Oh, Dembele. I don't think he. No, I don't think he'd be good enough now. <clears throat> I've got a really croaky voice today. I don't know why, because I don't feel ill. That's why I keep having to try and clear my throat. Right. 
I'm not going to sign anybody else unless they're like really stand out. Because of this reason here. Actually, the waste brush, we're not that much over the waste brush, actually, we're doing all right. Uh, oh, we've actually got an offer for Rosler. Damn it. I'll be really annoyed if we don't get to sign him. In fact, let me see if the board will help let me sign him. Come on. Oh, you bugger. Are they interested in any of my players? Colin Rosler, maybe? Dale, Dale Taylor, maybe? Max Powell, maybe? And then if we do installments that, would that help? Ooh. Oh, well, I've done that. I haven't got the money for that. Uh, I don't know. Fine, let's do. Can I change it? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, well. Right. Who can I sell? Who can I sell? I don't want to sell Warner. Why is Warner? Warner not. Why is Warner? Is Warner on the transfer list? No. Okay. Um, wanted. Oh, let's see if we can sell dominant ball again. I don't want to loan him though. I want to. If we offer some of the ways, that might help. Uh, Mark Leonard. No, pointless sending him. I thought that's that. That's all I'm gonna get. Can my uh, fairy godmother come along, please, and uh, make an offer for one of my players, please? Uh, what about him? I know, I, I know these players are pointless because I've already tried getting rid of these and nobody wants them. But you never know, if you keep trying, you'll get there eventually. Uh, try to see if there's anybody else. Nah, not by the looks of it. Oh yeah, Dorigo. See if we can get rid of him. We're not going to get much room, but if anything, it will get the wage budget adjusted slightly. Um, I think that's it. I don't think there's anybody we can sell. All right, Matthew Craig's gone elsewhere. Ah. Uh, Okay, that means we can make another offer, which is good, because we'll just get rid of this. Add player, transfer listed player, sorry Rigo, sorry Mark Lloyd. Uh, we're not going to give you 40%, you can sell off on that one. Uh, we're not going to give you any money up front. Uh, we're only going to give you that. No. Uh, I cancelled that. I should, they said they declined to. Right, let's just see how we get on. So we've got a bit more money. Can we shift some of this? No, we can't. Can't ask for more. 
their clauses to cash out. Right. Has he still got an offer from Dundee? He has. 1.1. Okay. So we offer that. Say that's the max we're going to give you. And then if we do that. No, we haven't got enough of that. We need to do it. Hmm. Hold on, if I stretch that out. There we go. We do that. Uh, and then let's see what they suggest now. We'll make that offer. They probably won't accept it, but we are limited in our finances. Oh, great. The player I've got in the exchange deal, bloody getting injured. Uchi is coming back to get his revenge on us by the looks of it. Playing against us in the next game. Wants at least 1.2. Well, I haven't got 1.2. Oh, hold on. Is this what you want then? Uh, let's knock that down. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, okay. Now we've got the issue of not giving him any of this. But if we up his wage, just say that. Get rid of them. There we go. He'll definitely come to us because Dundee United probably won't offer him that much. Damn it, I think that I think the deal's falling through. Ah, oh, balls. Right. So Dorigo doesn't want to go. So we've got to add a there we go. Remove. Now oh, let's try it. There we go. They're still happy with that, that's fine. Sorted. Hopefully this won't fall through now because the other players are rejected. Oh, come on. Sake. Right, let's try again. We'll obviously get rid of him now. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, hold on, let's try up in that. No, we can't up that. Try that. Ugh, can't afford it. Ah, oh, it's gonna fall for anyway. Mark Leonard won't accept it. Uh, right, Dominic Ball. Let's see if we can get rid of you again. We tried two fifty k. We can pay some of your wage. Yeah, that's okay. That'll help us, I think, in some way. After a while, he's going to get fed up with this, and he's just his agent's just going to walk off. Right, Mark Lennon hasn't rejected that, so hopefully he'll go to Motherwell instead of the other club, and then we can sign Miller. Hopefully, um. Right, here's our lineup for the next game. We've got Dewurst making his debut in goal. Uh, Liver's making his debut. Or Liber, Liber probably. 
Uh, Redmond's making his debut, Hoyden's back in the team. Maldini's in the team. So, a slightly rotated team. Let's see how we get on. Nothing so far. Very quiet, no highlights. That'll be our first highlight. Luckily, come into us. Let's see how we do. Rue. Oh, that could have ended badly for them. Good little one-two there, Palacios. Oh, interception. I think that was an own goal more than anything else, but Aziz gets another goal. Second goal of the season already. Two and two. Ah, one more. <gasps> Good interception there. Oh, Maldini could have done better than that. I thought we were off then. Queen of the... Is it Queen's Park or Queen of the South? I think it's Queen's Park. They seem up for this. Right, our free kick. Let's just, let's see what we can do with this. Long yellow. Good little cross there, Stephen Welsh. Is he good at crossing? Crossing twelve. Not the best, but he did it right there. Free kick taken ten. Lassius looks like a good signing as well. Then again, I'm not getting too excited because this is a League Cup competition, so anybody can look good in this. Right, we've got quite a few knackered players, so let's take a few off. Nathan Ferguson can come on. Uh, oh, um, Aziz can come on. Come off, sorry. Put Tomley on. I'll take Longera off in a sec. I just need to do some switching around. Right. Ferguson with the throwing. McTominay. I don't think that'll count. I think that's offside. No, oh, maybe not. Nice to see Hoyland getting back on the goal scoring touch. Getting his goal scoring touch back, sorry, that's what I meant. Right, 3 1. Just give the players a bit of a praise. Maldini can come off. Uh. Alan Campbell can make his debut. Welsh can come. I oh, know, can't take any more players off. Right, let's just see how we get on. Nice bit of passing here going on. Keeping possession. I feel like we're slowly building up for another goal. Put that chef's kiss on the end of this game. The cherry, the cherry on the cake. Oh, I thought I was in there. 
Right, corner to us, Palacios. Good little results when the uh, falls through. Why is that falling through? Oh, okay. Right. Let's try again. Make offer. They want 50% of the next deal, though, the bookers. Right, let's just see if they accept that. They do, annoyingly. I'm just going to offer them six and a half grand then. Right. Oh, that's good. That'll help. That will help our finances. Right, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Uh, thank you, as always, for subscribing, watching, and following. Uh, I do, do appreciate it. And I'll, uh, I'll be back on tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best. Bye.